be quick to raise your hand for opportunities that may seem outside of your comfort zone and beyond your capabilities, because that's where, that's where the learning and growth happens. And I would tell people to invest in relationships, uh, to, especially in today's world where things are so virtual. Life still comes down to how effective you can collaborate with other people, how you can influence people that you don't have any authority over. In my current job, I have the least power authority that I've ever had. My team is very small. I could care less. Uh, I'm having more fun because, and my influence is broader than it's ever been because I can do just about anything on any given day. But all of that, I wouldn't be in the position that I'm in, and I wouldn't have had each of those progressions if I didn't have relationships with other people that allowed me that opportunity. And so too often, I think young people, one, come in and they, one, they, they want to accelerate really fast, which isn't always reasonable. And then the second is they just do the work, but they don't invest in the relationship. So putting your head down and plowing through stuff is great. But if you're not asking questions, if you're not engaging with other people, if you're not taking time to get to know Steve, who works across the, the office from you, you're missing the boat because ultimately it's going to come back where they're going to say, what do you think of Chick? Well, I don't know. He doesn't really talk to anybody. He doesn't right. engage with anyone. And it, it doesn't matter how smart you are. So I'm a big believer that emotional intelligence trumps intelligence. And intelligence is really important, but it's not the most important thing. It's how do you read people? How do you come across? How do people perceive you? Do you have people that will give you honest feedback about how you're perceived? Or do they just say, right. oh, yeah, no, you're doing fine. And all of that comes back to relationships. 